Uh, what were you doing before this? I know you interned at Disney. Yeah, and interned at Disney. you had two Fortune 500 jobs. Yeah, U.S. Airways and Disney. So um, amazing opportunity at both of those jobs. But I was a flight attendant for two years before okay. I had done this. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, today I kind of felt like back in my flight attendant days, flying in, flying out in one day. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the airline? U.S. Airways. U.S. Airways. American Airlines bought them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say I've never flown them, but I do fly American. Yeah. All yeah. right. So what were your routes there? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I was on reserve, so they send you wherever, Damn. wherever you go. I was at a DCA for a while and then out of Phoenix. Wow. Yeah. That is an interesting lifestyle. So you didn't even know like where you were going on a given day? No, they literally call you and they're like, you're going on a four day trip. Damn. And then they send you the thing and it'll be like Phoenix to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to Boston, Boston to Charlotte. And you're just like, okay. Four days. So do they <laughs> pay for your hotel and stuff? Yeah, they cover the hotel. Okay. Um, you know what's really interesting about being a flight attendant and people don't know this. When you sign up for the job, you're like, oh my God, they, they'll they they'll flash it with like a really nice hourly. Like mm. it's start pay is $45 an hour or something. Yeah. You're like, oh wow, this is, this is pretty good, right? This is great. That is only for flight time. Oh. The whole rest of the day, you're getting paid $2 an hour. What? Yeah, so flight time. So AKA, when they are boarding, when you are boarding a plane, the flight attendant's not being paid. Oh, that's They're why they paid. don't give a about. Exactly. Yeah, because sometimes I put the uh, light on and ask for help and they don't come <laughs> no. when boarding. They're getting paid $2 an hour during that uh, time and that's when everyone needs help and they're not being, you know, like yeah, everyone's all needy. Yeah, uh, sometimes I need a blanket, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So then, you know, when it evens out, that 45 plus the two, it's like you're gone for four straight days, mm -hmm. like, and you're getting compensated, right, that whole time that you're in the hotel and sleeping and whatever at $2 an hour. Yeah. It ends up being basically minimum wage. Damn. And most of these airports that they have the flight attendants flying out of, they're pretty expensive cities, yeah. right? DC, super expensive. San Fran, LA, you know, all these places, they're expensive to live. Vegas, so, Miami, yeah. Yeah, they don't have, they, I mean, some of the airlines have, you know, bases in smaller locations, but most of the major ones, it's all the big cities. Yep. So it's pretty pricey to live there. And then you've got like this, you know, you're not making a lot of money, so. Wow, I did not know that. I assume they made decent money, honestly, but. No, uh, the longer you're there, the more the pay goes up. Okay. And so eventually it starts to be like, okay. But most people need extra support at home. Or, you know. So we might have to start tipping them. Yeah, we should, right? They're probably good. Wait, wait. They'll probably start asking, right? <laughs> Everyone's got their little machines, yeah. right? Dude, those are, that's actually a pet peeve of mine. Because oh. do you tip on takeout orders? Oh, I have to. Up? I feel bad. Yeah, I feel bad. So I tip 15, 20%. But like, that wasn't a thing growing up. No, because what am I? I came here to get my own That's food. what I mean. But they flip it over <laughs> and there's no option to not tip other than exit out. So you're yeah. like. You know, to me, the, the, the thing is like at recently all the coffee shops now, everyone's on the trend of where they have the workers stand outside in the drive through line. Yeah, so yeah. now it's like, I feel like I have to tip because you're standing in the sun, the yeah. rain, the wind, whatever it is. And you're being so sweet. Like, how's your day going? Yeah. Whatever. And I'm like, oh, now I have to tip. Yeah, I'll throw a dollar. <laughs> they, they, yeah, I feel like Dutch bros and... I don't know who started doing that, but yeah, now everywhere does that. Everywhere. It's crazy. They're all out of the car talking to you, Chick-fil-A, my pleasure. It's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> everyone wants a tip these days, man. I feel like growing up, that, that was not a thing. No, no. It was like sit-down restaurants where I'm being served, yeah. right? And now it's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah.